Hello there. My name is Fred Ross. I'd like to personally send you an invitation to join me today in what I'd like to call my very own outdoor fragrance store. And I'd like to send out a personal invitation to you so you get the front row seat as we get to try out all of these wonderful perfumes inspired by nature. So we have quite the different array of Fred Ross perfumes here, ranging from Thalo Blue perfume. This has a really nice watery scent to it. And we have different mixtures, which, you know, the inspiration has come from the paint. Things like um, Thalo Blue, for example, or Liquid White. Uh, we make all these mixtures here, inspired with nature and natural ingredients. And we accumulate them all into these tiny little fragrance bottles. And today, you and I, we're going to put down the, the paintbrushes and we're going to experiment and test out some of these amazing Fred Ross perfumes inspired by our good friend, Mother Nature. I hope that you will be nice and relaxed in this process. And your surroundings here today, in this store, it's a very outdoor type of store. We got a beautiful landscape behind us. Everything here in nature is here to make you feel nice and good and <laughs> relaxed and take away all of your troubles that might be on your mind um, as we go through this process together. So all these fragrances are not only designed to give you a good scent, but also designed to make you feel great as well. Just like when you pick up those paintbrushes and beat the tail out of it or get it on your palette and make all sorts of magical things happen on the canvas. Well, today magical things will take place with our perfume sprays that are made by me, Fred Ross. So Inspired by Nature has a fantastic sense for you to really enjoy and uh, appreciate just like when you've painted a wonderful picture and you think, hmm, did I just paint that? Did I just make that magnificent thing on the canvas there? And that surprise is the kind of surprise that you want when you're trying on one of these perfumes. So one of the things I like to do as we go through the testing stages is we'll neutralize it. And I call this the phthalo blue bottle that I have here and we'll give it a couple of sprays just to neutralize the area and to make sure that you get an even coat as it were an even base of spray so it's not going to be mixed up with other sprays so we'll and that should do the trick to make you have a fresh neutral palette. The same with a canvas. So you have a nice stretch canvas, put a lot of um, liquid white all over there, even, even coats, not too much, not too much. That's what this Philo Blue spray is. Just evens out the sinuses and creates a almighty wonderful neutral smell so we can really appreciate all the amazing scents I have here that you might want to purchase yourself. So one of the things that we do to try out with Fred Ross perfumes, we've got our tester here. So how about that we get a perfume out for 
for you to try. We have here from a great friend, Mother Nature, uh, a nice big leaf fallen from one of the big trees here. And we're going to use this to as our tester for our sprays. Okay, so the spray that we have here is an almighty nice spray. And this is inspired by when you walk down the beach and you feel that warmth of an evening, evening sunset. This one is inspired by that evening sunset. And this is meant to make you feel nice and warm. This particular one we call Alizarin Crimson. <laughs> Just the name I have for the perfume. But it really is a fantastic little smell. So how about we get a little spray on there? Okay, so we've got our tester. Just a little bit, nothing too much, just enough for it to soak up the scent. A bit like when you're putting that liquid white on the canvas. Don't want to put too much on there. You've got to make sure there's a nice even cold wash. The same with scents. You have to make sure there's a nice even cold of Lizard Crimson spray on there. So you try that. Let me know what you think. Let me know, so give it a nice, that's it, it's a, a very pleasing scent. This is one of our first ones that we have here. Not many people tend to come down here. I think it might be just a little bit out the way of them, tucked away out here in nature. But it's a place where you can really appreciate scents. So what did you think of that particular one? Hmm. Well, I thought you would like it. <laughs> right. So we get a fresh new test here. We get a phalo blue spring. It's a little bit refreshing. So this is a very unique spray which caters for that relaxing vibe and, and need as you you would get when you're walking through God's green Mother Nature. Okay, so we're gonna get on that sleeve here. Gonna pull it out, pull it out. There we go. And it has to be a dry leaf, it can't be a, a wet one, it has to already be nice and dry because when it soaks it up, it's not going to interfere with the scent. Okay, so let's give that a spray there. Nice tall glass of iced tea. 
so it's very much inspired with those things in mind. Nothing, something cool and quite refreshing as you stroll along the mountains. Okay, next one, which I think you might quite like. This one, well, it's a, it's a mixture in in the color sense of the palette. It would be cadmium red and a bit of phthalo blue in there. It creates this magnificent color here, and the scent. It's very much inspired by all the things you might grow in your garden. So think of blueberries and raspberries and, and things like that. All those lovely things that that you can grow. And that's a quite a few fruity spray which I've created here, which you might like. Okay. So let's get our tester here. that fruity texture to it. That's what you want. It's uh, very nice and refreshing. Okay, well, let's just clear off the palette there, a bit of phthalo blue spray there. There we go, there we go. Right, so I think you'll quite like the next one. So we just call this bright red. It's meant to replicate, there we go, a nice fireplace with some nice food being cooked on there. And it's, of course, a, uh, not a savory one, it's a, quite a sweet food. And you're just going to be reminded of all those nice warm things, makes you feel nice and relaxed. I know a couple of marshmallows and a campfire it very much has that that sort of tone to it this scent okay so let's, let's spray a little bit on there there we go not too much it's quite strong this one not too much there we go there we go okay we'll give it a little wave there okay so you take that there just give it a little Let me know what you think. So, being out here in the forest, you get quite acquainted with all sorts of manner of nature, things, animals, trees. <laughs> By God, there's some mighty big trees here as well. And I'm very lucky, and nature's been kind enough to give me all the ingredients that I, I need to make these quite wonderful little perfumes here. That brings us on to this one here. Oh, phthalo blue perfume here. Now this is quite a larger scent and it might require just a little bit more, but you'll find it has some really nice tones of a nice refreshing trickling river. So you know when you're doing an almighty painting of a big mountain. Well, that mountain's going to have a stream and it goes down to somewhere and it goes through the valley all over the place as it keeps going down and down through big pine trees. You guessed it. Bob's there at the bottom and he's getting all of these lovely ingredients there from the water and made this almighty spray here. I think you're going to really like it. Okay, so we've got our leaf. Just put it open just a little bit. There we go. Give it some sprays. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, you give this one a nice smell. It's a bit of a 
big one, son of a gun of a tester there, but I'm sure you you very much like it. Yeah, just give it a nice spray. Let me know what you think there with a phthalo blue perfume. Quite a unique scent, that's right. And it really has those those notes, watery notes. Mm. Very refreshing. That's great. So whilst we're here, I'd like to thank you so much for for joining with me today. Just at my little humble perfume store here we have out in nature. Uh, a lot of my customers tend to be wild deer and animals which uh, make their way past. So it is really nice to have an actual visitor here and someone who would like to try out some Fred Ross scents here. Right, let's get a fresh new tester here for you. Okay, we just get a bit of fade off blue neutralizing spray there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. So what we have here, I've called this particular scent Indian Yellow. Of course inspired by the paint color. Okay, so we'll take that out. That's a really refreshing scent to it. So think sort of something refreshing, something which makes you feel really good. We we'll spray a little bit more in there. This is something if perhaps you want to sit down by the fire, coal fire in the indoors on a cool winter's night. And that is meant to replicate that smell that you might associate with something that <laughs> heck, you might have a, throw a couple of marshmallows there on the fire. Whatever you do to make you feel that nice, warm, cozy feeling inside, that's what our Indian Yellow perfume spray here hopefully replicates for you. <laughs> that's great. Well, you're doing an almighty job and we're going through all these really quite wonderful perfumes here at the moment, but see if we give that a, a little spray there, just to neutralize it, just to neutralize the smell, and get you ready for the next one. So, this one's going to be a personal favorite of mine. I think you're going to really like it. Beautiful leaf here is a tester. This leaf has fallen from an almighty tree and it's got this really nice crisp brown color. That's what's inspired me for this particular spray. So this leaf is just meant to be a reminder that once there was an almighty tree. Whoops. Not that way. Fred. We take that one off. So this particular scent is called Van Dyke Brown. It's a quite a wonderful scent. Let's give you some sprays there. Let me know what you think. Okay, there we go. How about we spray some more in there? There we go. There. Okay. So you take that and you give it a little wave. There we go, we got it. X. That's a nice spray over there. Let me know what you think with that spray. It really is quite a nice one there. So, with this particular one, it's very much inspired by those almighty fern trees. Ones that you paint, they grow nice and big and tall and they smell really nice and drop almighty pine cones and all of those beautiful things that these trees produce every year. Well, that's where the inspiration for this particular scent has come from. <laughs> okay, so I think we best give that a bit of a neutralizing spray here. Okay, there we go, there we go. 
That's good. That's good. Okay, we put that one there. Alright, so we've had Van Dyke, Dyke Brown. Now this one, if you like to have a nice rest after a long day, a deep sleep, or like just that whole environment of night, say if you're doing a nightscape or a seascape or something like that, you like those really relaxing, sleepy uh, colors, which make you feel almighty relaxed and feeling good. And this particular scent is inspired by a nightscape. Perhaps there's some gentle waves crashing on all over those nice rocks that you just put there. This particular scent is called Midnight Black. And this is a very unique scent. We'll just shake that just a little bit there. And you can almost smell the beach and the waves and the freshness of the wind. Some amazing little notes to pick up there. So we get our tester, we'll spray it on the tester. There we go. We keep spraying it on the tester. There we go. And all those magical things happen there. There we go. There we go. I'll give you plenty of this one because it's quite the unique scent. Right. So you let me know what you think of that. It's quite quite the scent. Well, midnight black is something which took a little while to put together, but it all came together quite nicely, I would say. So, Midnight Black, Van Dyke, Brown, Indian Yellow, whoops, there we go. And Phalo Blue, real, really nice watery scent. And this is a nice bright red mixture of cadmium red and phalo blue okay and then we have a cadmium yellow and then what i'd like to say a oh, lizard crimson which has that very unique smell to it all of these scents are <laughs> of course inspired by nature but One more here for you. So, just got this little leaf. This is just a little tiny one that must have fallen off an almighty tree. But he thought, heck, I've, I've had enough of it up here. Shoot, I'm just gonna fall off right to the ground for us to enjoy today. Okay, so I got this almighty, wonderful scent. And I don't know why. This is like a pink sienna type of mixture here. It's quite sweet, but it's almighty nice. A lot of nice leaves and nice plants were used to create this almighty nice scent for you to enjoy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. We just place that there. And you let me know what you think of that. There we go. So with the phalo blue, I have another one here as well. The same stuff in there, just makes it all nice and relaxed. in there which you thought hey Fred Ross some almighty nice sprays in there and something that makes you and reminds you of nature and all of the amazing things that nature creates for us every day you just gotta look out the window you have your own look you we all see nature in a different way it's the same with sense you smell sense in a different way and particularly these ones which 
have been inspired by nature and of course named after the color of paint. They all have their unique personality to you. And that is what you want to get from when trying these collection of sprays out here in nature. And hopefully going through those sprays made you feel nice and relaxed. So hopefully that this was fun for you. That same with painting, that you might have felt nice, the enjoyable sensation. There's some sprays here that you really connected to. But I hear loud and clear, Fred Ross, is there a particular spray which is perfect for sleep? Hmm. Well, it just so happens that I've got one up my sleeve here. And for this, we're going to need an almighty leaf here. Hmm. This one, this one's been dried for quite some time. It's been ready, readying itself for this moment for you to use and, and spray. So this particular spray is inspired by Midnight Black. Okay, has just this little pop up here. So it has a very powerful scent in there, which almost accumulates all of these sprays in one way or another to create these really relaxing tones. It's gonna make you sleep real good. So how about that? I spray that on this almighty leaf we have here. There we go. There we go. These wonderful scents, magical things happen here. There. Okay. So I'll give this a little wave. sleep, isn't it? But I can see that it's one which seems to seems to resonate with you just a little bit more than these ones. Almost as if you're looking for a perfect night's sleep. And hopefully that that spray or any of these sprays, just like paints, made you feel nice and relaxed and nice and warm and cozy inside. So we'll just give a little spray here. There we go. Some nice sprays there, there. And I'd like to personally reach out and thank you for joining with me to, here today, out in nature, surrounded by all these magical things that are just around us all the time. I hope you've enjoyed the sprays. I hope there's something in here for you that you enjoyed. And I'll be seeing you again soon. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Cheerio.